I brought my daughter with me. She's very excited. She's out uh, shopping. <laughs> and it's really nice to be here. I look forward to um, the concert. We hope the weather it stops raining. We hope um, that everything gets dry and beautiful sunshine tomorrow so we can have the super concert here in Taipei. <laughs> Basically, um, I don't do anything unusual. I really just, um, if I, I if I'm having a little cold or something, I keep my uh, throat nice and warm. Uh, I don't have any vocal exercises that I do really. Um, I don't have the kind of voice that um, requires my um, getting too. I mean, I don't have to. Um, what do you call it? Vocalize? Vocalize. <laughs> I don't have to warm up. I sort of just kind of be. And uh, I've, I've been very lucky my entire career you that... I'm sure you're lucky. Yeah, I've not had any, <laughs> any trouble with my, with my voice. Thank you. And we know that this is a combination of pop music and classic opera music. And how do you uh, choose your program? to such a combination, how do you replace Pavarotti? <laughs> <laughs> very good. Oh, hopefully very well. <laughs> I'm much thinner. <laughs> um, I, um, I try to stay true to myself in, in each concert that I do. I've selected my songs, um, songs that I thought, that I feel that uh, blend very well with the, uh, the opera voices. We're doing duets together and trios of some of my songs, When You Tell Me That You Love Me and In This Love. Uh, so I, I do a variety of the songs over my career, hopefully the things that um, were big hits here. And, um, and it really wasn't quite that difficult because uh, the songs that we do together are songs that I love very much out of my, songs in my career. And everyone stays very true to their own career, songs that have been very important to them. Well, it is, it is quite a, a, a different kind of uh, performance, for, for me especially, to work with uh, such powerful voices. And it's a super concert because the fans that have been with me for so many years that um, love popular music, um, that have, over the 30-some years of my career that have followed me, will hopefully get a chance to open themselves up to a new, be able to, if they haven't heard any opera before, they'll get a chance to understand what opera is or what the tenor's voices feel ending with uh, today's kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, popular music. It's quite uh, super because at first they were saying it was like a crossover, but the truth is it's such a, a wonderful blend of music. I think when you love music, you'll get a chance to know that there's good music in all different kinds of music. There's good melody in jazz, there's good melody in, in, in opera, and also in today's popular music. And a lot of the, um, the opera buffs that will come to the show will get a chance to understand the kind of music that I do as well. 
I think we, we've uh, brought together a wonderful mix, and that's what makes it really super. It's unusual. I don't think it's ever really been done before. I really can't imagine how the idea came up. I think it's this one over here. <laughs> but I th I'm really happy to, to be able to perform with them. In fact, as they were uh, talking, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could really do an opera together? I mean, not that I would sing opera exactly, but to sing the story of some of the uh, operas would be wonderful.